is it something jumped out at you? What, what was it like to well, I've witness been, this? I've been down here a couple times before, and uh, you know, my dad actually got hearing aids a couple years ago, which was uh, almost as helpful to the rest of the family as it was for him. So, uh, you know, it can be uh, frustrating for the people around uh, them, but this is obviously a different case. This is, you know, kids as opposed to uh, adult hearing loss, but, uh, you know, I think it's something we uh, we take for granted, I think, is, is being able to hear. I think, uh, you know, you can find it, kind of feel isolated and, and uh, you know, sort of like you're uh, by yourself in a classroom or whatever it is, and to be able to, to give that gift of, of hearing is, is pretty amazing to see, you know, the videos of, of around the world, kids that have, you know, never heard a sound before hearing them here is it's pretty it's pretty uh, touching it's pretty cool it's how much does it improve your dad's hearing and what does it mean because of that that you're here today uh yeah i mean it's it's for him it was you know you have a conversation with him and he'd repeat what he thought he heard back and you know it was, it was frustrating and, and uh, i think it was frustrating for him too so for us uh, to be able to see that you know someone and then and obviously you know kids are in a different situation and, and to be able to uh, you know change people's lives really is, is something to, to be able to witness that and we brought Scott down here I've told him about it and, and I've been down here a couple times but, uh, for him to see it himself too also I think uh, it's, it's pretty cool for you know and I think it'll help uh, everybody seeing it on the on the news tonight and everywhere else so. how special is it to be with the kids and take pictures and talk to them well it's always fun you know I, I think that's probably the best part of our job if you want to call it a job is, is you know being around kids and, and seeing their enthusiasm and, and uh, you know seeing how happy they are when uh, you walk into a room or whatever it is uh, it's that's a pretty uh, pretty special feeling you, you know it's something that you didn't dream of when you dreamed of, of being a major league baseball player you didn't think you could make uh, you know a difference in, in young people's lives like that and, and uh, to be able to do that's a, a special feeling for us Justin, these guys, I think, have been to 110 countries around the world. They have these, uh, these ambassador uh, missions, and, and you're up for one of those. I guess get tough in the, in the off season. But do you know what country, and, and would it be this off season? Or? Well, we've been we've been working on it. We haven't yeah. been able to, you know, the, the young kids at home. Obviously, uh, yeah. it's hard to find a good time. But uh, you know, we're definitely doing one in the future. Whether it's uh, my uh, my wife and I, or, or whatever it is, from talking to uh, Larry Fitzgerald, and you know the the uh, the way it's you know made a difference in his life and, and how amazing he says it is to to be there and, and just to see it and witness it and, and uh, you know been to the, went to the gala a few years ago and, and just see uh, the difference uh, the good that, that people are doing is is uh, something that you you know, want to be a part of and I'm looking forward to whenever it is I get to go on a mission and, and uh, hopefully it's this winter and somewhere warm uh, in the winter <laughs> sure. for me but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be something that uh, hopefully we can get Scott on the same mission and we can have some fun together so. Trinidad's on the list I heard so maybe you can you can put in a word for that <laughs> <laughs> somewhere warm that's for sure <laughs> yeah. Scott can you uh, talk a little bit about what this experience was like for you this afternoon yeah you know um, I've talked to Justin about this uh, this foundation and and uh, you know being able to come and see it firsthand and uh, you know see what uh, Bill and his team and his foundation are, are able to do here um, it's it's really empowering just to, to come and see these kids and the, the smile on their faces and being able to um, to really uh, you know get back to, to just being normal kids and and so just to, to be a part and uh, to come with Justin today uh, it's pretty exciting. It's it's almost uncomprehendable for us that these kids go through life and weren't able to hear. I mean, and to see this work being done to help their lives, to give them a shot at having a normal life. It's, it's pretty amazing to witness it firsthand. Absolutely. And, you know, um, to know that it's, it's being done and, and started right here in, in Minnesota uh, makes it even more exciting to, to be a part of it, you know, just to, to be able to come out today. Um, you know, it's all about the kids. You know, they're the ones that, uh, that really make this day special, and, and we're just happy to be here. What did you say when uh, Justin said, you got to come check this out? You know, we had actually talked about it last summer, and uh, you know, he, he said he was um, involved with a, um, a foundation here in, in Minnesota that um, you know was just was involved all over the world, and kind of just talking to him about it, he was really excited about it. So um, it was something that you know, if I had the chance to, um, you know, I was definitely going to come and, and check it out. So I'm just glad he uh, offered today. So you're looking to 